ModWater DWM-20A installation. The following parts are included with your ModWater DWM-20A. Tools that are not included but are needed to complete the installation are as follows. Tube cutter, screwdriver, tongue and groove pliers, and adjustable wrench. Step 1. Key dimensions and clearances for the mod water. Be sure to allow at least 4 inches of space at the rear and sides for proper ventilation. Place the unit in its permanent position. It's important not to move it after activation. Also, if unit was tilted or turned upside down during transportation or unpacking, allow to sit for two hours before turning on. Install angle stop valve on main water supply within 10 feet of the mod water unit. Minimum water pressure for proper operation is 45 PSI. The DWM-20A comes with a metal drain line attached to the drain pan. If you do not have access to a drain, detach the silicone elbow from the bottom of the drain pan, then inset the plug. Pan must then be emptied periodically when full. If you do have access to a drain, follow the instructions on the next slide. Connect the drain line to the drain connection on the back of the unit. Run drain line to an appropriate drain. If there is not enough downward slope for the drain line to drain properly, please use a drain pump, not included. Carefully open side access panel with screwdriver. Insert the alkaline chamber into the unit. Twist to lock into place. Using 3 8 inch tube, connect temporary water line to angle stop valve and to the DWM-20A. In between these points, install the pressure regulator and shutoff valve. If necessary, also install a backflow prevention valve, not included. The temporary line helps to reduce total installation time, but it's not a requirement. Plug power cord into outlet. Turn on main switch. Do not turn on hot water. Open the shutoff valve and angle stop valve. One minute after turning the unit on, the sparkling and alkaline buttons will begin to flash. Touch and hold both buttons simultaneously for three seconds until all four buttons begin to flash. Then, chiller bucket will take five to 10 minutes to fill. Once full, flashing will stop. Dispense alkaline water until it runs clear. Fill up the hot tank by using the hot touch button. When water begins to dispense from the nozzle, the hot water tank is full. Turn on hot water switch. Wait 10 minutes and dispense hot water to ensure it's hot. Check to see if warm air is blowing from the grid at the back. While it takes one hour plus for the water to become chilled, after just 10 minutes, one can immediately see if by touching the blue button, water comes out cold already. Close the shutoff valve and angle stop valve. Dispense alkaline water for five seconds to release pressure from the temporary line. Remove temporary line. Install one leak detector T in between the all-in-one filters and pressure regulator. Position the leak detector near the all-in-one filters. The leak detector will shut off water supply if a leak is detected. Do not insert the battery in the leak detector until finished. Using tubing and dividers, connect filters in parallel and cut temporary line to better fit in between filters and unit. Then, insert end of temporary line into the two-way divider. Open angle stop valve and shutoff valve to flush filters. When water runs clear, close shutoff valve and angle stop valve. Insert tube end into water inlet of unit. After inserting the water line, insert the one quarter inch CO2 tubing into the back of the unit. Attach CO2 regulator to tank. Use quarter inch tubing to connect regulator to your mod water. Turn cap knob of regulator to set pressure to 60 to 65 PSI. Reference the operations manual for component letter identification. Open angle stop valve and shutoff valve. Note, the unit will take about one hour to freeze ice bank. After this period, sparkling and chilled will be ready for dispensing. 
Check for water leaks in all connections. Dry all surrounding areas. Make sure leak detector is dry and insert batteries into the leak detector. Congratulations! You've successfully installed your mod water. Please check the troubleshooting guide in the operations manual if you experience issues. For further information, visit Hoshizaki website at hoshizakiamerica.com.